right, so here we are on Google Maps. You guys know we're located down here in North Bay. And this week we've got a special trip planned. I spent the last 18 years living and working in Sudbury. So a buddy of mine has a camp and it's up here on Raffo Lake. So we're gonna travel, uh, take the family. We'd go for a week every year and we're gonna four wheel in well, we drive for a couple hours and we four wheel for a couple hours and we end up here on Raffo Lake. So we'll do some droning in this area, we'll do some fishing, fantastic smallmouth, uh, pickerel, especially out here in Helen, the fishing's pretty good. And we're just going to spend a week, uh, look for some arrowheads, apparently there was a couple native camps here on Helen. I guess we should point out in the uh, grand scheme of things, that we are straight across pretty much from Tomogamy and Rabbit Lake. So we're just uh, another 100 kilometers to the west. But we're on that same plane of emptiness. <laughs> there really is nothing up here at this camp. All right, so it's been two and a half hours in the car driving to get to this point, and we've got four wheelers unloaded. Side by side is in at camp right now, so we've got all the kids and everything. Kids don't know it, but they can be bait. I figured this would be a good opportunity to test the yelling, playing, screaming, singing kids theory if we can lure something in. But don't tell the wives I said that though. <laughs> well, we made it. This is it. This is Raffo Lake. Not a very big lake. Just big enough to let the kids take the boats out and do as they please for the next few days. And uh, we're going to drone this, we're going to walk some trails, and straight over there is Helen Lake, which we can access through uh, an inlet right there. And we'll go out there, do a bit of droning, we're going to do lots of fishing, but uh, for the next, I don't know, 20, I'm going to try to put in 20 hours, guys. I'm going to look, I'm going to hunt, I'm going to drone. So there was another set of trucks parked in the same trail we came in, so we're assuming that maybe out on Helen there's another group of guys this week or uh, Little Helen, which is a kilometer down that way. So there are other guys out here somewhere.
So the kids, the dogs, uh, the adults, we have been making a ton of noise. If there's anything within five miles around here, there goes a the dog, you're gonna know we're here. So I'm doing my best. I was up late, I got up early, I trolled around the lake, I've had the drone up. Now I'm hiking the trails, gonna look for anything that looks out of the ordinary. So I mean, I'm walking the trails, I see all kinds of uh, broken limbs, uh, bent over trees. I watch a lot of channels, guys. I watch, if there's a podcast, if there's a channel out there, I watch it. This is uh, of interest to me, obviously. I don't agree with 75% of what I see because nothing's proven. Um, it, I'm not trying to knock other research, but you need to have something extremely out of the ordinary. Like there are some sites that you go, wow, that looks like uh, almost like a teepee structure. Trees upside down with root balls up in the air. Yes, that is odd. That is out of the ordinary. Do I see anything like that here? No. I, I think those things that are truly out of the ordinary are very few and far between. So, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff bent over here and you kind of say, how did that happen? But I think you could puzzle it out if you looked. I mean, the bush is thick. There's, there's all kinds of stuff just lying here. Like, look behind me, right here. I didn't even look at this before we started talking, okay? I mean, somebody, other channels would analyze that and say, oh, this is all weaved together. No, it's not. It's naturally fallen this way. So I'm, I guess when I say I'm looking for stuff, I'm looking for extreme root balls hanging up in the air, upside down structures, um, you know, five or six teepee structures put together. Um, not just a couple of cross sticks in the bush or that. On, but these sticks right here are bent over. Ooh, that was one big cobweb right there. <laughs> so th these sticks are bent over. There's nothing down here on the end. But you can see right here, this stick, the rest of it is down here on the ground, obviously fell down with snow load, pushed those down long enough that they stayed bent over. Eventually that's going to rot off. Those are going to stay bent over and people would say, ooh, that's strange. It's not strange. It's natural. It happens in the forest all the time. I don't know how much you can see the bend there. I'll get down. See, they're bent right over. That's not odd. And then right here across the road, I'm looking. There's this stuff hanging here. That's not odd either. Just happens to have all fallen into a nice, neat little crotch here, and it's just hanging here. Right? So, I mean, if you want to look hard enough, you can find... You'll find stuff and somebody would say, oh, they jammed all that in there and don't walk past here on the trail. See, does that look interesting? Not really. It's just a bunch of deadfall that happened to fall into the crotch of a tree. Wives can be used for bait as well. They don't know it, but... New moose tracks! Those weren't here the other day! Lynx tracks! Those are new too! Well, I don't know if you guys can see the full moon through the trees there. It's almost full. 
It's midnight. Everybody went to bed hours ago. Just Gage and I are up. We just walked uh, quite a ways down the road here from camp. Uh, I did a few tree knocks tonight and uh, moose calls. I didn't want to be howling in the bush like an idiot and have everybody ask me why, so I've been moose calling all night. I thought, eh, that might draw something in, but I haven't heard anything all night. So it's 12.09 right now, as you can see. It's time for bed. I guess the kids want to get up early to go fishing, so time to head back to camp and hit the bunks. Right, Gage? You ready for bed? Are you ready for bed? Yeah, you're ready for bed, eh? I'm ready for bed too, buddy. <laughs>